If you're just new to gardening or you're looking for some ideas of really fast growing crops that you can harvest in under two months, then this video is for you. We're gonna start off with what is probably the most famous fast growing crop out there. It's radish. I've got a bunch of radish growing here and it's been battered a lot by the cold weather, but some of them are already starting to swell up. During the growing season, you can expect to sow radish and harvest it within four to five weeks. During the colder times, maybe that's around six weeks, but I've got a lot more seedlings ready to come out and I've already been harvesting a bunch from the polytunnel and it's just a great thing to get started with. Another crop that's well known for growing quickly is turnips. Now obviously these are running to flower because they've been in all winter and we've had so many coming out. But if you sow them now, they'll be ready in about seven weeks. Now, if you're not so keen on a turnip flavor, you want to go for the smaller ones that are more golf ball size like this. These are gonna taste a little less turnipy. You can also eat their leaves before they start creating the root, or you can let them grow on and actually start harvesting the turnip tops, which are all completely edible, especially these flowering ones. The third crop is actually related to turnips and it's described as a flowering turnip top. Here's a plant right in front of me. It's, and I'm probably gonna be butchering the name, it's called Kima Derapa, and it's an Italian, apparently really popular Italian vegetable. And one variation of the variety is said to mature in about 40 days. And I'm gonna put that to the test. Next up is a crop that's actually flying behind me. It's called pak choy, or you can include bok choy in the mix. And this is a stunning vegetable where if you're treating it as a baby vegetable, it's ready to harvest within 35 days. So in just over a month. And you can let it grow and start maturing. And within seven to eight weeks, it's gonna be a really nice size. This is just a stunning vegetable that is fantastic to add into your stir fries, but it also overwinters really, really well. So at the end of the year, if you've taken out your tomatoes, what you should then do is transplant or sow some bok choy in your polytunnel and you'll be really surprised because you'll be able to enjoy it right through kind of December, January and February. Perhaps my favorite fast growing crop is actually pea shoots because these can be ready in as little as two weeks. Now you can either sow them as a specific crop where you harvest just above one of the last nodes so it can send out more shoots. But what I like to do is grow peas as normal, but as they're growing, pick out the odd shoot here and there to encourage the pea plant to bush out. But I can also enjoy the lovely tender flavor of peas weeks and weeks, if not a couple of months before any of the pods start coming through. An alternative to pea shoots is actually broad bean or fava bean shoots. You can also include field beans into that mix as well. So these can be harvested in around three to four weeks, a little bit slower growing, and it's a great use for any of those spare broad beans that you have at the end of the season. If you only have eight left, then grow them for the shoots. Now you can either do that or you can still enjoy the shoots, but this isn't within the, within the two months. After the broad beans start flowering, you pick up the top shoots of the plant to help prevent black fly, but you can enjoy those shoots either raw in a salad or you can stir fry them, whatever you want, they're delicious. This next crop might really surprise you, but it's actually the flowers of zucchini or courgettes. These are edible, they're super delicious, quite a delicacy. One of the best ways to eat them is either raw or you can actually stir fry them, pan fry them, lightly batter them, absolutely delicious. And we all know how productive courgettes are. And sometimes if we have too many courgettes, one of the best ways to deal with that is to actually eat the flowers. However, the flowers come before the actual fruit. So if you wanna sow some courgette plants now and grow them on, just be wary of frosts, then you can expect to start harvesting flowers in under two months. I'm gonna group three crops into one and that's Swiss chard, spinach and lettuce. All of these grow really quickly and you can start harvesting their baby leaves within a matter of weeks. Heck, you can even put kale into that mix as well if you want. Now within seven 
seven to eight weeks, you'll actually start getting some considerable harvest. But in terms of having those celebrated young green leaves for adding to your salads and adding a bit of freshness to your diet, then these three, including kale, will grow really quickly and you'll be surprised how soon you'll be harvesting their leaves. Before I share with you the 10th crop that you can harvest in under two months, I just wanted to give a really quick tip because whatever you grow, the soil that it grows in is just as important. And you always need to be thinking about the soil health and improving it. And there's one really quick way to improve the soil health, which is in turn going to help improve the success of all of these crops that you're growing. What it is, is basically as you're going around the garden and you're either harvesting and then you've cooked something or you've made a salad and you've got all the vegetable scraps at the end, or when something has grown too much, perhaps it's running to seed and it's bolting, then what you want to do is with those scraps, or with the bolted plants, is chop them up nice and finely and just sprinkle the plant matter back over the soil. It's a really quick way to add a lot of fertility, some organic material to the soil to really help promote a healthy soil life. And that's going to be one of the most important things that you can do to help ensure a good success this season. So the tenth and final crop is actually dwarf beans or bush beans during the kind of warmer parts of the growing season. These are great because they're a great thing when a gap has emerged in say August time to transplant seedlings straight into and harvest in around five or six weeks. They are so productive and in fact out of all of the legumes they are the fastest growing and fastest maturing in terms of going for the bean or the pod. So I'd highly recommend that you get some extra dwarf bean seeds this year so you can use them to fill those gaps and get an extra harvest. A lot of these 10 crops are going to be too delicate to cook but you can enjoy them as salads and if you want help and inspiration in both how to make salads as tasty as possible but also how to be completely self-sufficient in salads all through the year this video right here is going to give you all of the hints and tips and ideas to help make that possible and also to enjoy these 10 fast growing crops.